Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Joshua here with Salty Scales. Today, I'm going to show you three effective ways to catch bait from a fishing pier. Now, these are all very simple techniques, and they work at any fishing pier. The very first technique is going to be with the sabiki rig. And with the sabiki rig, the idea here is to go ahead and tip the sabiki with shrimp, because we're targeting pinfish and uh, grunts more specifically. Now, if you just want to catch white bait, then you get the sabiki with the little feathers and you just slowly jig it by the pilings and you're going to catch the white bait. That's going to be the green bags or the thread fence. So take a look and I'll show you exactly how I rig this shrimp onto the sabiki. All right, so I'm just going to take that shrimp. I take the white piece off or I take the, the meat part out, out of the shrimp and I just put it right on the hook just like that. It doesn't have the shell on it. So the idea is just to cast it down, let out line until it no longer sinks or you feel it hit the bottom. And then what you're going to do is just slowly, don't jig the sinker, just slowly jig the sabiki and it shouldn't take long. Look at that. Quick and easy. Got me some gupa candy. Mm -mm -mm. Got me a little bucket with my aerator. And that's going to keep them ox uh, the oxygen flowing, keep them alive and frisky until this tide changes. Now, once again, let it sink. Wait till you feel the nibbles. And it's as simple as one, two, three. That's the very first method. Very simple. These sabikis cost about $1.99 at Walmart or any of uh, your local mom and pop bait stores. You can even get them offline on Amazon if that is the way you prefer to shop. So again, you can catch a lot of different array of bait using just a sabiki. And I mean, you can see I've dropped it three times. Look at this. Now that is our big old thread fin. Whoops. So the thread fin chose to eat the fly on the sabiki. This is another good grouper bait. If I can hold him, that's another good grouper bait. Coming to our second method is the cast net. Can't go wrong with the cast net, guys, especially if you're trying to catch pilchards or white bait. Uh, there's two methods. You can do a spin method or you could cast it. Sometimes casting it, if the bridge is very tall, it could be a little bit more difficult because the net tends to want to close, especially if you have a smaller rope. But today I'm going to cast it. We're going to catch a bunch of pilchards for uh, mangrove snapper fishing. Just going to load the net like so. Triple A credits are right. I just saw eight flash. I might have one. size baits for snapper fishing. Now what you want to do is properly put these on ice. Trust me, it matters. When the cast net method or the casting method isn't working, the spinning method will. Sometimes they hug the pylon real closely. This allows you to get right over top of them. So what I like to do when I have a large net is grab it about a little less than midway. Make sure you have your rope and everything like you typically would. 
and you reach down here and then you start turning the cast net with large circles. And as it starts to open, you pop it up. You're not always going to get the perfect pancake, but sometimes it doesn't have to be perfect to get the bait that you need. So I just spun the net, should have all that we need for the rest of the day. So guys, the idea is to grab that net about a little uh, less than halfway down, and then what you want to do is do wide circles. And as that net starts to flare open, you pop it up, and it'll allow you usually a nice little pancake right below you, where a lot of times those fish are in the shadow line. We got plenty of bait for today. Going to put these on ice. Got a few live ones as well. I'll use these for cut bait to chum up the rock piles, snapper, and the grouper. And let me tell you, keep them fresh, keep them on ice. They love them. And for our third way to catch bait, with a big old dip net. And looky here. These juicy babies right here are what they like to eat. That is what you call a pass crab. Break their claw off, throw them in the bucket. But hey, with a quick drop of the net, you got your bait. And they're moving fast. Woo! Crabbing it up, crabbing it up. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed top three ways to catch bait from up here. Hey, if you're asking or wondering about that dip net, I'll send a link down below here. You can get them off Amazon, Bass Pro carries them. Some of the small mom and pop shops have them. You just have to make a call to see if it's uh, readily available at those local stores. But overall guys, great video. If you enjoyed the content, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.